Hi there, I'm Sandra Moses, CEO Pro Fini Nigeria Limited. Keep watching TMY Special. Thank you for joining us again on your favorite podcast, where we'll bring you the CEOs of verified businesses and their stories. Today, we will be giving you the opportunity to meet and hear from the women who is leading and winning in the male-dominated paint market. Please join me as we welcome Mrs. Sandra Moses, the CEO and founder of Profeni Nigeria Limited. Sandra, you're welcome to the program. How are you today? Thank you very much, Vera. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very okay. So before I even jump into all of the questions that I have for you today, I must tell you, you look lavishly beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much. And you look amazing yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, so Sandra, of all things, mm -hmm. I feel like all things in the world, <laughs> why paint? What is that thing that motivated you to, you know, go into the paint market? Okay. Um, I worked for a paint company. Thank you so much for You're this welcome. opportunity. I worked for a paint company um, many years ago as their Lagos representative. And over the years, they relocated out of Lagos. Okay. I had clients who kept calling me, irrespective of the fact that they knew the company I worked for was no longer in Lagos, mm -hmm. but they still didn't mind. They wanted me to consult for them and recommend other paint companies that they could use. So I began consulting and... While I was consulting for these clients, uh, over time again, I realized that there was a need for me to start up my own paint company because I needed to solve some peculiar problems that I was noticing at the time. Oh, wow. Interesting. So that was how I... Wow. Well yeah. done. I mean, for answering a need, that's really commendable. Thank you very much. So, um, Sandra, when exactly did you venture into the paint um, industry? And being that it is a male-dominated, you know, market, how have you been able to cope and what has been your challenges so far? Okay, I started my own paint company in 2016. Wow. And um, being a male-dominated industry, at first I, I, I wondered um, why we didn't have more female. But I realized that because naturally I've realized I'm a very confident person. My confidence kept me going. Mm. I also know I'm bold to an yeah. extent. So that also kept me going. And because I'm a go-getter, I know what I want and I just go for it. Yeah. So that also sustained me. And above all, God kept me going. So being male, being female, mm. doesn't matter as long as you know what you're offering and you're giving quality. Interesting, so, interesting. Yeah. Sandra, you will agree with me that COVID was not a funny year. I mean, everybody felt the heat of COVID. Yeah. So for your business, how were you able to cope, you know, from COVID and of course the recession that has been, and how have you been able to cope? Hmm. COVID, <laughs> 2020. I tell you. Okay, um, during COVID, the lockdown hmm. was one of our major challenges because of course there was no sales. Hmm. And then when the lockdown subsided a bit, we had clients who called in for a few supplies and the logistics, you know, making these deliveries from one location to another became, became a problem because the price of movement, the logistics was out of this world. The prices mm -hmm. were crazy. And for you to break even or to even make profits, you know, you needed to find ways to cut down the logistics. It was crazy. So at, we realized we were even selling without profits wow. at the time just to keep our clients, you know happy and all well, that. I, I like the fact that you had to come up with something to maintain your you know, your clients. Exactly, you know? because to us, client satisfaction is key. So over time, we also had to make them understand that these prices can't be sustained. We need to come up with the you know, bring the prices a bit higher. And the hike in our raw material prices as well also contributed to that. Clients were not understanding and we needed to make them understand that chemicals, these chemicals are imported. And with the importation you know issues during the covid weren't getting in supplies so it really affected the pricing and also those were the two major challenges we had logistics sales and the third is the hiking raw materials so fantastic i like to think yeah. I, I like to think that um 
the what you came up with in order to maintain your clients was a good way that helped you to bounce back oh. into business after covid how would you describe your clientele okay our clientele ranges between um construction companies okay the real estate developers corporate organizations like banks yeah individual projects like residential houses churches schools everything construction interesting interesting so sandra the nigerian market is filled with different brands of paints what makes your brand different what stands you out really okay yeah um do you remember earlier i said i saw a need in the industry hmm. while i was consulting that spurred me into working towards owning my company and that one of the need was my clients were not getting 100% satisfaction, not because the paint they were buying was not good, mm. but we realized that just walking into a paint shop, picking the very best of paints and applying to your project is not just enough. Mm. I'll give you an example. Because here in Profini, the uniqueness of our product, one of it is that we produce custom made paints wow. that would suit exactly the need of a particular project very in a particular environment exactly wow, and i'll give you an example lagos island and lagos mainland you might walk into a store and buy a paint from a shelf very good quality paint use it on the mainland let's say keja mm -hmm. for example okay. and it lasts for 10 years it's still beautiful it's still fresh and all that same paint you now have another project on the island and you use it on the island and you find out it doesn't last up to 10 years hmm. the problem is not from the paint it's because of the environment um so in profini we realized this problem and we began to customize the paints for our clients so we consult for you we observe the prevailing weather conditions of that environment wow. and then we customize paints that would suit you and give you exactly what you need how can they contact you if they want to buy from you how can they reach you? Where is your factory? You know. Okay. Yeah. Um, our factory is located at Sibola Abu Streets of Gombo, okay. off Abraham Adesoya, okay. Aja, Lagos, Nigeria. You can also reach us on Instagram at Profini. We also have our Facebook page, Profini okay. Nigeria Limited, and you can also reach us on WhatsApp, zero eight zero three eight four three six four seven three. Thank you so <laughs> much, Sandra. Thank you very much. <sighs> Buying from locally made brands is a good way of supporting our country's economy. So today we urge you to begin to patronize locally made brands. 